Hello everybody, uh, this is part three of my entire Tartan Angel Extreme DVD collection. Um, obviously if you haven't seen part one and part two, you might not have seen the previous ones, but the one I'm on next after the last one we showed in part two was Hard Boiled. So now we're on to A Bittersweet Life. I've uh, seen this one quite a while ago, but can't remember too much about it to tell you the truth. Obviously I'll be sort of giving a brief synopsis on the ones that I have seen, but it's more just so other collectors and that can see which ones are out there. So I know when I first started collecting these films, there were so many of them, so many different sort of titles, it was overwhelming as to what, what ones to actually get. So in the end I had to write a whole list and sort of alphabetical order and then sort of buy them one by one. Most of these films I got quite cheap, but um, places like FOP and HMV for sort of, I'd say, between £5 and £6 ten pounds for sort of some of the newer ones and then a lot of them I got in like CEX and second hand places uh for sort of between one ninety nine sort of three ninety nine really so quite good. Uh, anyway uh yesterday uh, I've not actually seen this one yet but I've heard it's quite an interesting I think there's more of a sort of crime sort of action thriller rather than any sort of horror. Uh this has got two films on it, Aragami and two LDK. Um I think I've seen two LDK can't remember it too much, but I've not seen the Aragami yet. But like I say, I'll be getting round to all of these soon. Uh, being as we've all got to stay in in the UK and most places around the world at the moment, I uh, hope everybody's staying safe and looking after themselves, not getting too bored. Um, obviously, if you've seen any of these, you've got an opinion on them, especially the ones I haven't seen, and you can always comment below. Let me know. Uh, Four Time Killer, um, quite a good one. Obviously, sort of tells you a lot on the in the title what it's about and that one is directed by Johnny2 and Y Carfi. not really seen many others by them this is a really good one Perth like they say Singapore's answer to taxi driver well made quite violent uh, quite enjoyed this one um, this one is by Jin and that is DJINN uh, got Public Enemy not actually seen this one yet um, looks quite interesting, kind of like a sort of face-off film. Uh, joint security area, this is really good. Um, kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what's that, The Raid. It's sort of like one of the first um, sort of action, sort of, I wouldn't say a fighting film, it's not a kung fu or anything, but it's well made and it's by Park Chan-wook, who also makes Old Boy. And the um, Vengeance Trilogy. Then you've got Bangkok Dangerous. This is like an action kind of one. Not seen this one for quite a while actually. Can't remember too much about it. But going to get back round to it soon. But it's by Oxide and Danny Pang. Who I think also do the I. At least I1 if not all three of the I films. Yep I think they do. Just looking up there. Versus. Looks kind of like a sort of modern day sort of samurai film. Not actually seen this one yet but quite good things about it. Uh, directed by Ryuchi Kitamura. I think I've got another one by him I've heard of but I can't think of the name at the moment. Uh, Princess Aurora. Sort of like a Lady Vengeance sort of style film. Sort of um, revenge thriller. It's quite an interesting one. I do like that one. Uh, then you've got another one by Oxide Pang. Who did the eye? Um, one take only. I don't know whether the film's done in one take or whether the it's just the actual story of the film. I've not actually seen this one yet, but like I say, I've got 83 of these, and at one point I was just buying them in bulk to sort of get them all, so I haven't actually got around to watching them all. Um, Shiri, again, another one I haven't seen, directed by Ji Gyo Kang. Um, this was one of my favourites, really original kind of crazy film. This is the two disc special edition, Save the Green Planet. Um, it's quite an amalgamation, sort of different things really. It's not horror, but it's got sort of sci-fi and action, different sort of things going on in it. And that's Jing Jung Hwan. Um, and you've got Nowhere to Hide. i uh, not seen this one yet, but like it says, kind of um, hard-boiled sort of style. Not directed by the same guy that does Harboiled. Um, one Last Dance. Not seen this one yet, but it looks like it's got Harvey Keto in it. So it's one of the only ones that I know out of these that has actually got any sort of Western actors. And it's actually directed by, if I can get it to focus, which I can, Max Makowski. So I guess he's um, done other films since. I can't remember what they are. Inner Senses. This is a good one. Quite creepy. Um... 
not seen it in a while, but I remember I did like the sort of style and the colour saturation and that in it. Um, I've got to get through these quick, actually. I'm running out of time. Princess Blade. Uh, not seen this one in a while. I think it was quite good. Audition. I've also got the Arrow Video Blu-ray out, which I spoke about before. Quite a shocking and disturbing film with a slow build-up by Takashi Miike. Visitor Q. This is a really messed up, sort of disturbing film about a family. And um, a guy sort of comes to sort of visit them and changes all their lives. And got some quite messed up sort of things in it, including necrophilia. This is, again, a Takeshi Miike who makes a lot of messed up films, including this one, Gozu, which is quite crazy. Some sort of bizarre of scenes in it, quite intense, quite sort of messed up. Um, a lot of Takeshi Miike's films are interesting in my opinion. Happiness of the Katakuris, I also showed this in the uh, Arrow video Blu-ray, uh, crazy film, sort of um, comedy, musical, zombie, horror sort of style to it, City of Lost Souls. Uh, this is one of the Takeshi Miike ones I haven't actually watched yet, but it looks a bit more like an action one by him. Um, Another Takashi Miike or Miike Takashi, I'm not sure how you actually say it. Um, Agitator, I've seen this one a while ago, but can't remember too much about it to tell you the truth, but it looks like it's a kind of crying one. Then you've got um, the Triad, so Triad Society Trilogy, uh, which has got Sh uh, Shinjuku Triad. Um, it's quite brutal. And you've got Rainy Dog. Not quite as good, but another one from that trilogy. And you've got Ley Lines. Again, this is from the same trilogy. Can't remember too much about that one, but I'll get back to you when I've watched them more. And you've got the Dead or Alive trilogy, some of Takashi Miike's most famous work, I would say. Uh, part one's the best. I think didn't care for part two too much, but I think I quite liked part three. I think it was kind of up the um, levels of sort of intense fighting and things quite a lot. Um, that, to my knowledge, is all of the Tartan Asia Extreme. Uh, let me know if I'm missing any, but last time I checked on the list, I'm pretty sure I had them all. Obviously, there's some which are sort of Region 1, which I don't have. This is the Region 2. And I think they do a few on Blu-ray, which I don't have. Uh, but that seems to be all of the ones on DVD. Uh, thanks for watching. Speak again soon.